Hey YouTube. So this is my um, this is my denture fit review. I never did actually do the review. Um, I got busy with a bunch of stuff and a lot of stuff, you know, started going on. So I never did get my review done. But I have been wearing the denture fit now for maybe a little over a month. Shut that heater off really quick. I want to say I did it in maybe January or it could even be February. But uh, I'm going to say, let, we'll say January. So this is March, we're almost to the end of March. So January, February, a little over a month. A month, we'll say two. Two months. Uh, it's my, my kitty's down here, my big boy, big cat, 16 pound cat. Um, so I've had the denture fit in for, well, we're going to go with two months. So we'll say two months, um, cause I can't remember the exact date and, uh, it's doing really good. I was going to not pull my teeth out, but I guess I'm going to pull my teeth out. Oh shoot. My vape, I hit the button. So, um, everything's holding good, uh, but it is time. I think it's going to be to where I'm going to be redoing my denture fit like every month, every two months, but I get my hard line here in June. So I'm trying to get just, um, a few more days. I might, I might redo it tonight. I might redo it tomorrow. Um, because I shrunk again. Uh, I'm not shrinking as much as fast, as bad as I was before, because I was almost every, um, it seemed like every two days everything was loose again. I had to put in more glue and more product, and I don't want to be doing, you know, I'm trying to get away from the glue. So I'm going to show you here really quick. I'll pull the bottom. I haven't checked these. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like the way I look without them. Um, hold on, I gotta look them over <laughs> really quick. So, on the bottom, my dentrofit's still in there. I don't know, can you see it? Can you see it here? Now, it peeled off over here, and I'm not sure why, what happened, but um, it's starting to peel up in a couple spots you can see here. Can you see that? All right, camera, come on. Yeah, I think you can see that. So I'm peeling up there. Um, oh, I got something under there. Yeah, I'm kind of like really peeling up there. So if I do it this way, you can see. And I'm sorry, my light is something is terrible in this bathroom. Um. Oh, I'm peeling up back here as well. See it right there. I'm peeling up a little bit there. And it looks... Oops. That I may be peeling up... <clears throat> I'm peeling up right here too. You can see that. See it? Right there. So I'm peeling up right there as well. Um, also, when I originally put it in, I don't know if you guys can see this with because my denture is so it's got those spots, but see it didn't go in, it just kind of stopped right there and in here. So I still have bare spots here. And um it doesn't bother me horribly, but I still have that. This is where I get the score spots. It's right in here. So. That, um, I'm having a bad denture day, too. I'm just biting on them really hard. I can't not bite on them. Um, and another way I can tell that I'm, uh, time to redo them is the top is sliding back again. So it's gagging me back there. Now, 
Also, when I bite things now, um, the top, when I go to bite on almost anything, it uh, pops down in the back. And uh, so that's another, you know, but it, that's just something I can kind of get through it. And um, the muscle memory, I'm still learning the muscle memory. So biting things, like the first few couple bites, it'll pop. And then it's like, wait a minute, I got to just, it's a thing with adjusting your muscles and getting your muscles right. You know, like, um, like our lower lip, when, our lower uh, plate, when we bite, it'll you know, pop forward if we don't bite right. And we got to kind of sometimes keep, you know, like a, like a, the one teaches us to keep the finger here, which does help. It does because they're, um, it kind of helps me to bite right because I still do that. I don't know why I do that. And uh, so you can see that I'm sliding down a little if you watch. See, it's like, oh, that's creepy looking. I've never really seen I can always feel it. And I always wonder if, you know, but I can tell that I'm loose because I have to slide that way. Now, at the top. Oh. When I take the top out. In the bottom, I don't use my muscles anymore to pull it out. I use my tongue on the inner part and I push out. To um, pop it out. Because I'm trying to stop using my face muscles. Um, so that they stay in. But see, I got half. I still have the dinter fit in. So it's been two months. See it right there? So I'm peeling up back here. Which again, it gets me paranoid because nothing's sliding underneath it really. But see, I'm really peeling up here. Um, so, but I'm sliding back again. Which means I keep shrinking up in here. So I have to get, this all has to be redone. Um, so it's time to... It's time to um, redo my teeth. See, something's stuck under there, and I can feel it because it's really bothering me. I'm just having a bad denture day too. Um, I'm one of the ones I've heard of ones that say they pull their dentures out to eat. I try to shake out as much of the water as I can. I don't know what was bugging me there. It could be because of that raw edge. I don't know. It's gonna. It's just I'm having a bad denture day. Um, it's straight, so that's good. But um, I'm just having. I catch myself, there's this weird thing I do on the bottom denture, and I, I can tell because, um, I think my cat just went in my tub. My bottom denture is not as tight as it should be because I can move just, I don't know how I do it. Like, right there, and I catch, and do it all the time or something like that. And it flips up back here. And I bite down, and then I do that, and then I bite that, and so it's time to redo the denture fit. I have another box, I'm just not sure where my box is right now. Um, but I have to get it done here in the next couple of, like, either tonight or tomorrow, because I'm having my bathroom ceiling tore out. They have to replace, and I'm going to show you. Now this, I've lived here three years, and this has been like this for three, three years. I've been um, going to management now. We're on a, 
a base here. So, right over top of me. Look at that. Three years. And when it rains, that leaks. Now, can you see this line right here? It looks, it's, it's somewhere, it's like right, right there was, you can see the different in the ceiling. See it? The little line. I can't, uh, yeah, <laughs> line there. And then you can definitely see it right, right here. The little wavy. See that? So you can see the different pattern here, how it's a little, not, a little more flat. And then you look here. See, here you can really see it. So I had a skylight all right here. They tore the skylight out because they said it was a skylight that was leaking. Well, that was like that. This up here around my ceiling fan. Look at it. All down. See? So. They fixed that. But all they did, and then my maintenance man, he was in here yesterday, and he even said all they did was they just plastered over it and they just patched it. So when it rains, it rains in my bathroom. <laughs> like, really rains in my bathroom. And one good thing is my toilet is right there. So it does just kind of, you know, I have to lift up the seat and the lid and everything. So it just kind of leaks into my toilet. Kind of. Kind of. Because it kind of gets right on the edge. I hear you in there, kitty. Hi, fat boy. Shadow in the tub. That's my weird cat. Um, so I'm going to be, not be able to make videos for a while. I'm not even going to be able to use this bathroom. I'm so mad. Because I have to pull all that down. I just got all that set up and just got it all nice. And I have to pull my rack that goes from the ceiling to the, not to the floor, but to, from the ceiling to the inside of the tub in there. The back of my throat's itching. And that's another thing. <laughs> your, your, your roof of your mouth starts itching. You can't do anything because it's under your, your plate. And you gotta pull that out. I don't like it. Um, so I have to pull that down, and I gotta pull like I gotta pull everything out in here. I just put up a whole nice a uh, wine rack, but I use it and I put towels in it, which is great. Um, I just put that up there. I gotta pull all that down. I have to have I have to hide all my denture stuff. I have to pull out my denture. I have to go use the kids' bathroom. Their bathrooms just. That's way down the hall. That's the other end of the house. I'm in the back. They're way up in the front. This is a 95-foot trailer, so I'm going to get up in the middle of the night and I'm going to walk into something or step on a cat. And um, so, um, so, but as it is, it's uh, time for me to redo my denture fit. But it did do, you know, two months, which is... It's typical for, you know, being this, I'm, let me see, I had my last surgery in August, so we go August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, seven months from my surgery, my last surgery where I had my six front done because I had everything done in steps. Um, my anxiety was way bad. So seven months since I've had my teeth extracted, my last set of extraction, so I'm still healing from that. So I'm going to shrink more up here. Um, this bit my lip. I had uh, these done first, and that was back in I want to say June. June, yes, because I had an event that I had to do. I have an event that I do um, every year in June. Um, because I'm a, a temporary tattoo artist and I do airbrush tattoos. I don't have any on me right now. It's winter time. Why am I going to do them? I'm not going to do them in the winter. Um, so I had just had these done. And then I had the event. I think it was two weeks later. So, um, yeah, because I remember not really being able to eat too much of anything. Because it was still kind of 
a little sore for me and you know open well I had four stitches here I had four stitches here I had uh, three stitches here I had, I had ten stitches total so I had four stitches here I had three stitches here I think I had three stitches down here um, and I think I had three over here or two maybe I had two six seven eight nine ten so no I didn't have three stitches here I had four three or four two two and two two four six seven eight nine yeah that'd be ten I think I had about I had ten maybe I had more than ten maybe it was four three it was four three three and two so I had over ten I had twelve stitches right I think that six and six three whatever I can't do math my fly like that. I, I'd have to actually really think about it. So, so it would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, tw twelve, two, three, two extra. So I had twelve stitches. Um. So, um, I have another event in June, again the same event that I have to do here in June again, and then um, they called me for an event in August as well. And I'm going away in May, so I want to get this denture fit done and in because I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm still trying to figure this out. So I have, if I do it now, I'll have this last week of March, then I'll have the whole month of April. And then maybe I can get the whole month. Maybe I, I can get until my realign. My realign is June 10th. My event that I have to do is either June 8th, the day just before. I go that Monday to drop my teeth off to get my realign. And they're going to keep them for a week. Or it's that Saturday after when I pick them up. So... I'm, I don't want to do the denture fit and have to pull it out, you know, say a week before and I'm at this event with no denture fit and glue and yeah, I mean, it's an all day event. I have to go all day and I'm holding in, you know, really good with the denture fit. Now, yes, my bottoms do pop. But it's because I shrunk. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I just want to get it till, you know, my next realign. Um, I'm not shrinking as much. But I, I do know I'm shrinking because this top is sliding back. I can tell it's sliding back. You can see it. How I don't have, how it looks like I'm not. And I'm biting on the back. So I'll see. I don't have much of um, the open, but now when I take, and it's just a slight, see the difference? You can see that. That's how I know I'm shrinking. Um, plus it's sliding back again and I'm gagging. So I think if, when I go to get my real line, I might have them shave off a little more in the back because um, that's still gagging me back there. And I don't know if it's because of, you know, just the bulkiness of the denture fit. Like I was using the, um, let me see, I think I have them right here, the c bond. yeah. I was using, um, I was using these for a while and those made it pretty bulky. But I couldn't bite or anything, and they just popped. So, so hopefully, this next one will get me. I won't shrink up as much because I'm. This is my last box. I'm gonna be out after this. I I can't. I don't have uh, the um, funds right now. God, my gray hairs. Look at this. I'm gonna be 44 in this next week. And look at all this gray. Oh my God, I'm too young for this gray. That's okay because you know what? 
it's time for a new dye job. Look at that. You can see. Look at that. Ooh, that used to be magenta, like magenta, magenta. Yeah. Time for a dye job. I think it's time. I'm trying to get a little bit longer. Just a little bit further so when I go on my um, out of state that I'm not horribly like this is all oh God. I'm getting gray. Holy Christ. But yep, new dye job's coming up too. So maybe the next time you guys see me on here will probably be after my, it will probably be maybe before my event after my realign not sure um i might have a whole new dye job and i do this myself obviously i do this myself what salon's gonna let you walk out like that none so no i do all this myself it takes me two days i wanted to make a video on how to do it because i use the foils and everything and people are always asking me how i do it but uh, it takes me two days because I bleached my hair years ago one time. I know, I'm just getting totally off subject. I bleached my hair one time years ago. And I don't know what happened, but I messed up my bleach to peroxide ratio. That had that I that is what happened, but I'm not sure. I don't understand how I did it. I think it was too much peroxide, too much bleach. I don't know, but I burned all my hair out of my head. <laughs> I got the stupid idea to um, bleach my eyebrows. I wanted to bleach my eyebrows along with my hair because I was going to go full-on platinum blonde and obviously I do not look good blonde but these colors are great for my lighter skin tone that's my big boy I'm going to show them to you guys in a minute that's another one of my uh bottle babies from a year ago he's is she going on two he's going on two yeah so he's a bottle baby from two years ago um but yeah, I burned all my hair, like burned it right out of my head. When my eyelashes, my eyebrows, I mean, not my eyelashes, my eyebrows, when they started falling out, I kind of went, uh-oh, something's not right. So I rinsed everything off. And I, I kid you not, I was pulling out like this hair out of my head. It was just burning and falling right off. And my scalp was all burnt. And now because of that, I burnt my scalp up all in here really bad I constantly it itches all the time now and um, I always have not quite sores but I don't know if you can see this I felt it this morning I don't know if you can see this little red mark right here I have a skin condition normally it, my eyebrows fall out this time of year it's not too bad but I'm feeling it coming up here on my eye and that's a bad spot I usually have it really bad along my face all here um I got lucky this winter come a little closer oh I got a little bit right here slightly and it's starting here but here see you can see it you can see it starting up that little dark spot on my eye I felt it this morning great lovely I have psoriasis and now because I did that I have it all up in my scalp and I got and it's yeah come up there normally it comes up really it comes out really bad in the winter time I have I have one up here in my arm I have one down on my stomach too um I haven't seen any other patches yet but just that on my stomach and my arm and that starting in my eye right there so one year it started right here it was right on I couldn't wear eyeliner because it was it was really bad um so I've got psoriasis and it's really bad come here shadow 
He's playing with me. You can't see him. Come here, Shadow. Come here, Shadow. Um, so because of that, now, I'm really careful when I bleach my hair because I'm not, my hair falls out again. I'm going to have, I think this time I would actually have a heart attack. I, I thought I was having a heart attack when it happened. I thought I was going to come out that tub and my head was going to be gone. But somehow I just got off the denture, the, off the subject of the denture fit. So the denture fit's a really good product. If you are anywhere within, I wouldn't do it really soon after after surgery, um, because you're going to be doing a lot of it. Oh hi, there he is. You're going to be doing a lot of it. Hi Seattle, come and see. Oh, hi Seattle. This is my baby boy. He sleeps with me all the time. He's an ear sucker. He has, um, yeah. He was another one of my bottle babies. He is 16 pounds. I have to stand up. This poor cat has been through. Ooh, look at this big boy. Look at this big boy. This poor baby, when I got him, his stomach right here. Ooh. He said, Mom, don't touch me there. He had to go in and get cut open right here because his intestines he had a hernia in there and um his insides were falling out so they had to cut him open he had to have uh 48 stitches in his stomach just <sighs> he loves me so much she had to have 48 stitches in his stomach to um put everything will you stop back together and uh hold him but two years old and he's doing good he's mama's baby shadow literally I don't know how that was shut up mom it's shut up mom or he's gonna try to suck in my ear but um he's my he's my baby he's oh come on He's been with me after my surgeries. He was my baby. And he still is my baby. He's my big boy. Uh-oh. My video is going to end. Oh! Incoming call. Really? Because you know what I did? I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. I'm sorry. I can't edit my video because I don't know how to edit videos. So... If that just got cut out, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I get for not putting my phone on airplane mode. I thought my timer was running out because I'm at 28 minutes. Jesus, Crowley. All right, that's enough. So it's going to be a little bit before I can make another video because, well, my ceiling is going to get tore out. I don't know how long that's going to take. These roofers take forever. They took like six months to fix one of the houses that a tree went through and they lived in it so better not be down that long i'll be really upset i won't be happy so all right well so denture fit review what have you mumbling me whatever other than that the denture fit's a good product uh if you if you are within three minutes three months if you are within your three months of having extractions and you are in your dentures and they are not fitting denture fit will work for you but you're going to be using a lot of it because you are still shrinking and you're going to keep shrinking you're going to shrink at a rapid rate um my first five months first five months man I was shrinking 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 and I got my dentures in December so I've had these December January February March January February March I've only had them three months and I um I I had to redo my denture fit a few times but I could tell I was shrinking um um 
when I first got them, they were kind of tight, like my dentures, and I just did the glues and the paste and all that. And I noticed the more product and more and more and more product I was putting in there, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm still shrinking. I'm shrinking at a rapid rate. Um, I'm not shrinking as fast. I'm still shrinking, but not as fast. Um, I was shrinking really fast there for a while and I was actually kind of getting a little worried that our, I'm stuck with these things, these ones, for five years. So if I shrink, to, <laughs> I'm just going, God, if I shrink anymore, I'm going to have, you know, teeth hanging out, sticking way out. And I don't want no uh, horse, I don't have that, do I, guys? You tell me if I do, right? You would tell me, right? <laughs> I mean, I can't see that, see? So, I'm going to have to go back and look. And, you know, I do know when I do go in five years to get new ones, I'm going to go whiter. I'm going to go a little, just, just a little, just a little. Um, because I don't feel... I really don't feel like I'm that white. Let me see here. Everybody's always saying do the tissue test. Let's do the tissue test. Oh, uh, well. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm that white. I, I really, really don't. I wear all these funky colored lipsticks. I wear blues and blacks and like blue. And purples. I wear purples. Oh my god, the purples. Uh, I had a cold sore, so I couldn't wear any of my lipsticks. Cold sore's gone. Cat scratched me. That's a cat scratch. Little brat, she's in heat again. But I wear like... Oh, shadow. Like these colors. These are the colored lipsticks I wear. You know, like this blue, and they and they're actually this color. They're, there's some pretty deep dark colors in here. So yeah, they say different colors change. This one doesn't look so great on me, so this this one I wouldn't wear too much. But you know, my other reds and purples, my light. See, I look really white there. I don't know. I just feel like this. these ones are looking yellow to me. Oh, before I forget. Yes. Nobody told me this. And oh my goodness, what a, surprise, what a shock I had. Stain away. When you guys use the stain away, I have to do... See, I had to go... I got this from my dentist. And I had to go and buy another one. So I got this one at Walmart. And it's got this little... I never used that, really. I don't know what I could do with it. I really don't... Wow, oh, that's so wet. That's not good. Well, anyhow, so when I do the stain away... I do stain away once a week. And I'll put, like, my tops in here and my bottoms in here. Now, they're... They're the same size... Pretty much. Well, okay, so when I do the stain away, which I'm, I have to do that tonight, that's going to be a tonight thing, so those aren't going to go very far. When you put your stain away, I do like a cap to each one. Uh, I guess the more I, less is more, yeah, I know, but I just, I don't know. I feel like they're not that white, and I don't know if it's just me, you know? If it's the lighting, but I just feel like they're not, they're not as white as they were when I got them. But then when I'm outside and they look in like the car mirror, they look like psh, fluorescent white. So I'm not going to go, you know, super white. I'm going to set the stage and say, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I have to go to the dentist. I have to, I'm getting a bleaching. So, uh, when I get my new ones in five years, <laughs> I'll just do the, uh, yeah, 
and just go a shade lighter. I told my neighbor the same thing. I said, just, just, just say you're gonna, you're going in for a bleach job, and go a shade lighter on your, on your new dentures. That way, you know, they, they're just a little whiter. Oh yeah, bleach job. Uh, the stain away. That stuff foams like really foams up. I didn't know it foamed up that bad. I'm trying to think here. So I'll put like this of water. This is a little shot glass that I that I keep in here. I'll put this of water, like I'll put this stain away in and I'll go to put this in and it's just foaming up, almost up out the side of that. So I have to do a little bit and I have to wait and just kind of shake it around and then I can do, you know, so I have to measure out how much water I put in there. Uh, the first time I did it, it foamed all over my sink and I have a very small sink. So, yeah, if you guys are using that stain away, you know, know that it's very foamy. I couldn't believe it. And it's like, why didn't anybody tell me this? Why doesn't it warn you that on the package? It, 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 it doesn't say it on the package. Shadow. All right. Bye, YouTube.